All right, we're gonna talk about perfection. And when I say the word perfection, I'm not talking about perfectionism, rather perfection of your character. And then we're gonna see what that has to do a little bit with your heart. And um, well, let's see what that has to do with the 10 commandment law of God. You ready? Now, this is gonna be a short. We're gonna string together just a few verses. Um, there's a lot more that can be said of it, but you can take this as more of a, a good start and intro to the topic. And um, with time, you may see more material on it. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1 says the following. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Question, how old was Abraham? Do you think he had physical capacity to be perfect and walk perfect before God at the age of 99? But what was it God said to him? It's pretty clear, right? Now, something I've noticed among a lot of Christians is that to a response or to a, to a text like that, many will probably be very quick to point out that's Old Testament stuff, no more need for it, right? But see, Old Testament, New Testament, there's still things from both that we need. In fact, there are things from both that we need. So let's see this in the New Testament, Are ready? Matthew chapter 5. We're going to read verse 48, which says the following. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Old Testament, New Testament, they say the same thing, right? At least so far with what we're covering, which is character perfection. So, let's keep going. Now, although I do believe we have a job with cooperating with God, I want to see how this is all possible, ready? Now we're going to go to the book of Psalms chapter 18. So, Psalm chapter 18 verse 32 says, it is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. So now as we recognize that, we have, let's see, character perfection is what we're talking about. Abraham was instructed to walk perfect before God. We are instructed to walk perfect or to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. We know that God makes our way perfect. And so wouldn't it make sense to use something perfect to sort of, sort of start to work towards that? Psalm 19 verses 7 and 8. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Is it making sense so far? Character perfection requires us to observe a perfect law, and God can strengthen us to do this. Do you believe it? Okay, let's visit the New Testament again. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. It's going to be chapter 8, and we're going to read verse 10. So looking toward the future from uh, the days of the apostles, we read the following. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. So where is God desiring to put his perfect Ten Commandment law in you and I today? Have you seen the news recently? I want to read something else from Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3. There is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all, yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their hearts while they live, and after that they go to the dead. I'm sure you've noticed, not just here in the United States, but there's a lot of things going on in this world that clearly demonstrate that there's a lot of hearts fully bent on evil. You know what would remedy that? By now I know you know, the Ten Commandments. You see the first four are set on loving God and honoring Him. The last six, loving our fellow neighbors even as ourselves. You can find these in Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 through 17. Go ahead, look it up in your Bible, take a look. Second Chronicles chapter 16, we're going to read from verse 9. I'm going to read on the first part of it, and it says the following. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him.